Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sophia Camarda if you're new and today, well actually first of all, it's Christmas. <laughs> As I record this, it is literally the beginning of November, but I don't care. That is the vibe going forward. Today we're going to be going through different home screen setups and reacting to them. And these are all using iOS 18, which is going to be so fun. All of these home screens came from my Discord server, iBaddy. So thank you to everybody that submitted a home screen. It was so much fun going through all of them. I already have a feeling that this is going to become a series. So if you guys want to be in the next home screen video, make sure to join the server. The link Link will be in the description. To start, I'm gonna show my setup <laughs> because I have already changed it from my what's on my iPhone video. It's not too different, but I did switch the wallpaper to be a November calendar. This is the espresso wallpaper color and it just looks so cute. These are all on sagel.com by the way. Here's my home screen. As you could see, the layout is not that different, but I did switch some of the widgets and I just made it more of a November vibe. And I am loving the dark brown. That is seriously like my favorite color for the fall. That will be the first setup of the day. Even though it is November now, there are gonna be some Halloween layouts in here because I did have people submit this before Halloween, <laughs> but I'm still going to include them because they are so cute. To begin, we have a layout from Caitlyn. She has the black 16 Pro Max and she has a clear case on it. And this is her layout. I really like the black and I feel like because I have the black phone, I can appreciate it more. I love her little iPod shuffle that she's got going on here. And she got very creative with the app layout, so you can actually put them wherever you want in iOS 18 now. As you could see on different pages, she has them placed in different sections, and it's just very nice. Now for the next one, we have this one by Smiley Face. <laughs> and it says, this is my vibe. The screenshots are from a long time ago, but it is the time that the home screen has been the best for me. And Sophia, you are the best. That is so sweet. Her layout is so cute. It's like all white theme. She's got like lavender, font on the lock screen which is really cute. I'm loving the heart and the little kittens with the bows that is so adorable. Her app icons are so unique. They are almost giving me like desktop windows XP vibes and it's just really satisfying to look at. Like the aesthetic here is very strong. I feel like if this was my setup I would feel at peace every time that I look at my phone. <laughs> <laughs> this one is by Haley and it says I have the iPhone 13 in pink, which iconic. I used to have that phone and she has a very similar layout to mine, which is so freaking cute. She's using the fall theme pack. She's got the cold brew widget. She's got the pumpkins and obviously the app icons matching too. And it just looks so crispy, like not to brag, but my theme packs are just so clean looking. Then we have this one by Alex. She says I have the 16 Pro Max in white and I love the white iPhones. They are just so so crispy looking and she has a picture of her layout as you could see it's kind of like a beige coffee theme going on which I love the app icons are so cute they're almost like hand-drawn looking and then she has these little widgets with coffees on them and I love this one in the middle that's almost like a daily summary I just think that looks really good she even has a coffee phone case to match which I just love the attention to detail in this one this case is so cute I actually need it <laughs> The next one comes from Brian. He has the black 16 Pro Max as well. If you're an iBaddy, Brian is an icon. So he has a very strong Halloween vibe going on here. I could not skip it. I know it's not Halloween anymore, but I could not skip it. And he told me to include him. <laughs> so I have no choice. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But look, so he's got this amazing collage as his lock screen with the dark kind of like orange color text, which is eating. Then on his home screen, he's got like a very deep like inky black background with spider webs and then all of his apps are kind of like this deep reddish orange kind of color all of the widgets are just popping off like look at this little art gallery he's got going on here it's so halloweeny and just so festive it's actually making me miss halloween just a little bit a little bit but i'm in a christmas mood <laughs> <laughs> the next layout comes from Lunar Flurry. She has the iPhone 15 Plus, and this layout is so freaking cute. It has these cute little teddy bears on it. All the other stuff is pink, which I love. Like, I just love that pink vibe. The app icons are pink, the widgets are pink. Everything is just very cohesive. If this was like dressed to impress for home screens, this would probably be in the top three because everything is just so matching and pleasing to the eye and unique. It's just 
good. It's just good, you know? The next one I'm gonna show is by Pacific Cook. He says, it ain't much, but it's honest work. <laughs> and I had to share this because it's just so satisfying. The lock screen is like this very HD looking like angel wing design. And then when you go into the phone, everything is either black or navy and it just looks so good. All the app icons are matching, the widgets are hitting. This would absolutely devour on a black iPhone. Next we have this layout by Lyrical Lemonade. And I like this one because I feel like it's very uplifting. Her home screen is this collage and it's kind of like giving vision board vibes, like kind of like manifesting vibes, which I love. And then on her home screen, she made everything bigger. So nothing has those little like labels underneath. There's no text. And then also I'm loving the ones of the shoes and the G-Wagon, like that's just doing it for me. It's so extra. This one is very like realistic and probably something that I would do. So I really like this one. This next one is by Caroline. And I like this one because it's very clear clean to the eye and I love that it has a good theme going on. So her lock screen has this cute little building, almost like looks like a shop with a vending machine in front of it and it's kind of giving me Animal Crossing vibes. And then her home screen has these cute widgets with like different snacks and fruits and whatnot. I love how each app is a different snack or food. I just love the consistency to the theme. I don't know where she got this from but this pack specifically is just really good and I love the colors too. It's just very fun and bright and uplifting to look at. Next up, we've got one from Dree XO 23 This one is so cute. It's a frog theme. So everything is green. Her lock screen has this cute little frog cartoon on it. And even all her little details are frog themed. Like at the bottom, it says froggy. And she has a little mushroom widget. And then when you go into the phone, all the apps are frog themed and it's just so cute. I love the little designs on the widgets. I just love the art style on this one. Like the way Way that everything is doodled so cleanly and it's just very minimalistic. It's very nice. All the app icons go really well with what app they're supposed to be, so I like that too. Next up, we have this layout by Justice. This one is so cool because the home screen is an iPod, and then when you go into the phone, everything is matching the yellow theme and is laid out really well, so I actually like this a lot. Everything is just so organized, so this one gets a lot of points just for being like super organized. This next one is by Sky, and she has the iPhone 14 Plus in white and a clear case. This one is so aesthetic. It's got the pink and white going on, and I love how all the app icons don't have any icons on it. Like it's literally just a color. And I'm seeing a lot of people are using color widgets, and I honestly need to try that because these widgets are really nice. So I just love the whole thing. It's very cute. This one is from Mel Cordo, and she has has the iPhone 15 Pro Max in white titanium. This one is so cute. This is actually matching with Julia on YouTube. It's like this cute little bookshelf and I just love it. It's so creative. I love the theme. Again, the art is just so good. It's very high quality. I love the colors. This one gets my approval as well. It's just so cute. This one is by Your Girl Becca. And this one also is kind of like a white and pink theme, but it's a little bit more focused on the white. I see that she's got the the Sagel October calendar on here and I feel like she did something to customize the color of it because I don't make that color but it eats like it looks so good so points for creativity then she's got all these cute widgets underneath and then the next page she's got also the app icons from the fall theme pack she's really customized it in such a good way again it doesn't have the labels or anything it's just very like clean girl aesthetic which i really like i love the widgets too they're so fun like i love the one that says get and loser we're going hexing <laughs> with the witches in it this is probably one of my favorites to be honest because it's one that i would do i have another bookshelf one. This is by Leisha and she has the Desert Titanium 16 Pro Max and she has the white ripple case from our favorite case company, Case Defy. <laughs> Her home screen is really nice. She has all matching app icons and they're more of like a dark theme and then she's got all these cute little widgets with pictures and quotes on it and this is another one that doesn't have the labels under the app icons which honestly I'm getting inspired. I might do the same because this looks really good. This one is by Lizard13. 
Halloween and this is more of a Halloween one but I'm still including it because it's very cute. It's like a ghost vase with these little flowers on it for her lock screen. And then for the home screen, she has a bookshelf. This one is different though than the other two that I showed. The app icons are like heavy Halloween theme, which is very cute. I love the cat picture in the widget that is matching with the background so well. This is a really good one. This one is by Dad Joke Queen and this is another Halloween one. <laughs> and this has a cute little ghost on it too with a pumpkin. This one is very warm tone, like super orange and red, which is super folly. And then for the home screen, it is like super colorful, very Halloween color, custom app icons. And I actually love the four widgets, like how she has two on top and two on the bottom. To me, that looks really good. We've got three Halloween ones. This one has like a purple vibe going on, which is really cool. Then this is another kind of purpley one, but a different wallpaper. And then for the third one, this one has kind of like a beige flower background with the same purple apps. I love them all. And the Halloween vibes are super strong in these. And lastly, this one is by Sarah Grace and it's another really cute pink one. This reminds me of the Barbie phone that I just unboxed. It's like the same kind of vibe. So if you want a Barbie phone without having to buy the flip phone, this layout you should copy. And her second page is really cute too because she has all these widgets going on. This one is super cutesy and is for the Barbie girls. <laughs> Those were the home screens for today. There were more submissions and I'm so sorry if I missed yours. I tried to pick my favorite ones, but I loved all of them and they all absolutely hit. Thank you to everyone that submitted their home screens. And for you guys watching, what was your favorite layout? Let me know in the comments. I don't know if I have a favorite. They're all so good in different ways. I can't wait to see the Thanksgiving ones and the Christmas ones. We'll definitely have to do this again, but hopefully this gave you guys some inspiration on how to set up your phone and some different ways that you can customize your phone with iOS 18. As always, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!